All right, what's going on, guys? I'm Relatable Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Meatball Craft Dimensional Ascension. Okay, we're getting attacked. Um, please go away, big bird thing. Um, guys, we're gonna be getting into some astral sorcery. So I've got my resonating wand out, and I'm looking for rock crystal, which means that I've got to find these little pillar things. Um, and to be able to follow them, I'm going to have to take out some of these mobs that want to destroy me. Okay, as I was saying, we need to follow these, um, things right here. We're basically just going to dig all the way down to, like, bedrock level. And hope that we don't fall in lava. Alright, so I'm here at level 2 or so, and I'm pretty much just gonna... No, I'm at level 5, sorry. And this is pretty much what I'm gonna do. Is just dig around until I find it. Um, it looked like there was a few in the area. So, it's kind of what I'm hoping. So we'll get a couple out of this. That would be nice, at least, if we could. Here we go, so here's our first rock crystal ore, and I, there should be some more around here, I think. Maybe not. Anyways, here's our first rock crystal ore. Oh, and you get a bunch of rock crystals from it. Cool. Okay, do I still have a backpack? Or anything like that? Where's my golden bag of holding or something? Or this, this, this. There we go. Sorry, I haven't played this in a while. I'm forgetting what, uh, what items I have in this. <laughs> Alright, so, sorry about that. That's my alarm going off. I'm going to put these here. Alright, and we'll be able to, uh, upgrade these if we need to but i would like to get some more this is a pretty good one purity 68 um so we can cut that some more and we can upgrade the size by putting it in starlight so we'll worry about that um in a little bit but i do want to keep maybe trying to mess with this some um but let me turn off my magnet that's why everything keeps wanting to come back to me i made this magnet off camera by the way it's nice. Um, it doesn't look like we're going to find another one, though. So I'm going to go back up and try and find some more. Okay, guys. I picked up um, just one more thing of rock crystals because they dropped four each, apparently. Now, it's probably my Fortune 3 that does that, so don't count on that. We're going to come over to our uh, luminous crafting table here. Got it under a floating crystal so that we can get starlight even during the day. And uh, we're going to make a light well, so I'm just going to click on this. And we'll get our light well just like that. And I'm actually going to go ahead and make a couple of them. Um, because it's nice to have a few of them. Um, and we should be able to automate this at some point in the future. But for now, we're going to probably be kind of... Um, manually running these, so it'll be nice to have a few of them to work with. Alright, cool. So, for now, I'm just going to use this area for doing my astral sorcery stuff. Um, eventually, we'll have to kind of move out. But that's okay. For now, we can just stick with what we've got. We're going to throw down our light wells here. I went ahead and got this set up to where it's... Um, Pulling out of the light wells. Gosh, I forgot what they were called. Pulling out of the light wells. And then what we're going to do is use whatever one of these. Okay, I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to swap those out. And we're going to place these in there. Just like so. And we're going to keep the ones that we think are decent. I'm using low purity ones for this one was kind of my goal there. 
um, because purity I don't think you can alter, but the other two you can alter. So I'm not too worried about that, but what we want is to, over time, um, does it need access to skylight? Yes, that makes sense. There we go. And we should start getting some liquid starlight from that, just like so. And we'll want to save up that, so I'm going to let that run for a while. Gonna go ahead and make a uh, spot or not spot glass, uh, <laughs> whatever this thing's called. What is it called? The looking thing, looking glass. That's what it's called. And we'll be able to use that at night. Um, but for now, we're gonna work towards getting our starlight crafting altar. So we're gonna have to make this recipe here with some marble pillars, which I'm just gonna yank from the walls right here, actually. And it was, I believe, like that. Yep, and then we need chiseled marble, which is this here. It's cool how it kind of just gives you everything that you need. So chiseled marble, we already had some in our inventory, but oh well. And then we'll need a rock crystal and one bucket of liquid starlight. So I already got our liquid starlight over here. We've got almost 10 buckets of it. So I'm going to grab one bucket and I'm going to pull one of these rock crystals from here. Oh, we'll use... Man, that one's got good purity. But everything else is kind of low. Um, I'm just going to go with this one. So I'm going to grab that. Put that guy there, put that there. And just like that, we've got it. So I feel a little goofy for not remembering this, but it does have to be night uh, to be able to do the starlight crafting altar, which makes sense. You know, it's astral sorcery, not sun sorcery. Um, so that does make, makes perfect sense. Um, and I guess that is our bar now. Um, but we do have to set up a little multi-block. Let's see. Let's look at the multi-block. You should be able to pull up your little book here. Click on that. And right here, it'll show you the multi-block. And it'll show you layer by layer. I'm going to go ahead and make a grindstone. Yeah, so that's what it's called. Yeah, so a grindstone. And that'll complete us a quest. So that's pretty cool. And I'm just going to slap that over here. So this is what that looks like, by the way. It's a pretty easy setup. Um, really, the sooty marble was the only thing that I had to craft. Everything else had EMC, which was pretty sweet. But basically, let me show you how this guy here works. So if I open up my backpack and grab one of these, um, I'm going to grab the one with the highest purity, which I believe is this 83 one there. Yeah, so I'm going to grab that one. And I'm also going to grab out a bucket of liquid starlight from this. And I'll just slap that down over here somewhere. Let me um, grab a piece of marble to block this off. Slap down a liquid starlight bucket and throw that in there. And what that will do is over time that will charge that guy up. And it will make the size bigger. So you'll see if I pick it up, the size should have gone up a little bit. But that cutting has gone down some. So that size is 175. The cutting is 28. I'm going to let that sit in there for a little bit longer. And you'll see that as one goes up, the other one will go down. And what we can do is bring that up and then come over here and grind it. And we can slowly get it up to really nice stats. Looks like it needs to sit for a little bit longer, maybe. So I got two of them, actually, up to size 400, which is the max for a rock crystal. And I was wrong about the fact that cutting goes down. So cutting will stay where it's at, but size will go up. Purity tells you how much size goes down whenever you cut it. And we'll use this to cut it. So what I'm going to do, actually, is go ahead and turn that into a sword. And we should be able to get a pretty daggum good sword out of this. Because you can get that um, size up pretty high. And I believe that is what tells you durability, and cutting tells you attack damage. So what I'm going to do is throw this sword onto here and just sit here and right click 
and then I can shift right click to take it off and you'll see that as that cutting goes up this attack damage goes up and then what we can do is get that cutting up to 100% bring it over here grab me a bucket of this and then I can throw it in that starlight and over time that will get that size back up and that will give it more um, that'll give it more durability and so as the size goes up it'll get more durability and that cutting tells you damage so we should be able to get a pretty good sword that does good durability and good damage all at the same time I'm pretty excited about this y'all so the size is up to 788 I let it soak in that for a while and then I kept sharpening it and I I was right kind of about size and cutting being uh, reverse so on weapons as you sharpen it the size goes down and as you soak it in starlight the cutting goes down so I was right kind of um, you, it has to be on a tool rather than actually on the rock crystal but I want to try and get into a little bit of attunement before we end this episode but in order to get into attunement we're gonna need to do a couple things the first thing that we're gonna do is get us one of these linking tools here what that's gonna allow us to do is I'm gonna throw some iron ore down somewhere over here I'm gonna let this go ahead and craft because I don't know if this will mess up the multi block I don't think it will but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some iron ore over here I'm gonna right click on there I'm going to link it to each of these iron ores here and what you'll see is that it'll start shooting a little beam over here and then once I got away from it it unlinked and I'm wondering if I can shoot that with a time in the bottle and see if that'll speed that up a little bit but what you'll see is over time this will actually turn into hang on let me look at what it's called because I don't remember star metal it'll turn into star metal ore and the, like I said that's gotten from sending the starlight over here to our iron ore and what I've been doing over here by the way is just pumping these with aquamarine it doesn't last as long as a rock crystal but it's easier to get so I'm just pumping that and here you go so like I said it has turned into some star metal ore and now what I can do is just go ahead and mine this and we're gonna see how we can process this because I have a feeling we should be able to get something better out of it and I'm wondering if there's a way to clear the um, linkage here because I want it to go back to only being there but I'm not too sure about that so let's look at how we can clear this out sorry not clear it out look at how we can process this so we can induction smelt it so that's probably what we're gonna end up going with is doing the induction smelter so with just a little cinnabar and our star metal throw that in there and we'll get our star metal ingots just like that that is awesome do apologize for my inventory being such a mess I'm trying to be back and forth from my base and our little um, astral sorcery area here trying to make sure that I've got everything that I kind of need um, to be able to craft the stuff we're gonna need for this and like I said I'm not sure how to unlink these well it might help to use the right wand unlinked there we go so what I'll do is go ahead and unlink all of those because we don't need a whole lot right now at least not yet now over time we probably will I'm not too sure I, like I said I haven't used this mod before but what we're gonna do is put this to use oh we can use we can even make star metal seats that's pretty nice right out the gate too that's awesome um, it's used for a few different things but nothing that we're getting into quite yet um, that's not related to astral sorcery so what can we do at our what do we have we've got the starlight crafting altar what can we do at the starlight crafting altar well we can make our attunement altar we can make the next level which is the celestial altar and we can make a celestial gateway so the first thing that I want is to make this attunement altar so we're gonna need some aquamarine we're gonna need a rock crystal some star metal and some marble and one of our spectral relays so I'll go ahead and get everything ready for that. I wanted to show y'all this real quick. I'm using our little looking glass here and I'm gonna hold shift 
And you see how I can, well, before I hold shift, you see you can look around and you can actually find constellations in the air. And I looked and I think that it's this one, Dissidia. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to try to draw it something like that, like that, and like that. And look at there, we've got Dissidia. Awesome. So what I can do is look around and see if we see any more. Which I'm not seeing any right now, but we do have a mountain in the way. So what I can do, actually, I guess. Well, real quick, let's do some crafting before we try and do all of that. So I've already got it set up to make us our attunement altar, which I guess it's not nighttime enough for. Oh no, it's mad at me again because I broke that. That's right. So let me replace that. That is this type of marble. And there we go. It's crafting that bad boy on up. So we're going to get that. And once we get that, I'm also going to go ahead and upgrade our looking glass here. We're going to turn that into a telescope, which will make it much easier um, to look around. I think I've already got everything that we need here. And we're going to go ahead and make a telescope, just like so. And then what I'm probably going to do is throw an angel block, like way up in the air above this or something. And we'll be able to teleport back and forth so that we can go up and find constellations and whatnot. And maybe set some stuff up up there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set us up a little area up here. And I've got us a little area set up up here. It's nothing too fancy. But what it allows us to do is come up here and actually see these constellations. So you'll see that some of them we don't actually, this one we don't have unlocked. But it does look like there's a constellation here. And it looks like it kind of goes down and up. There's like a hook there. So let's see what that one might be. We can go up here to Constellations, and I'm thinking that it's this Avitus one. Um, so it goes down, and then there's like a upside down V, and then a sideways V. And I think, oh, uh, maybe that's not what this one is. Let's see. What do the other ones look like? It could be this one, actually. I'm not really too sure. It looks like it comes down like that. And like that. I'm just guessing really here. Yeah, I knew that wasn't it, but it looks like it could be like a stick man. So let's see which one looks like it could be a stick man. So you've got this one. Hmm. This one looks like it could be a stick man. So maybe there's we just didn't draw the whole thing. I'm thinking that's got to be what it is, but I just don't see the rest of it, you know? Because this, hang on, let me figure this out. <laughs> All right, I got it. Took me long enough. Let's see if there's anything else out in the sky right now. Looks like, yeah, looks like we've got this one here. That's going to be, let's see which one that one might be. I'm thinking that one might be that. I don't know. That's definitely not how you would draw that. But, oh, I see which one it is. It's definitely this one. So it's a triangle in the middle and then like a cat. And a triangle in the middle just like so. Oh, maybe that's not it. Yeah, that's definitely it. There we go, Armara. And it looks like that is all of the ones that are in the sky right now. So we've got... Which ones do we have unlocked? That one. That one. That one. So we've got this one, this one, and this one, I believe. Yeah. So we've got Decidia, Armara, and Avitus. So we need Visio and Avorcio. And so you can only do that at night. So you'll see now that it's no longer going to do it. So what we'll do is over time, we'll set, we'll set up the attunement altar. And then um, 
as nights go on, I'll continue to see if I can find more of these constellations. Alright, we've got these uh, spectral relays. You're going to need some of those. I'm not sure how many, actually. I'm, I might go ahead and make some more. Um, just need some more gold nuggets, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make a few more, because I don't know exactly how many we need. That's fine, I'll make nine more, that'll be fine. Alright, cool. And then we're going to pop up here to the sky. <laughs> and I've got this little area set up here. So, what we're able to do is I'm going to take out my... I think I'm going to go with the Vorcio. Should be able to do something. Oh, you can hold it. That's right. So you hold it. You put these little relays here. Ooh, fast. You see how it's got the little blue things? You want to make sure that it's in the center of the blue things. So I'll place one right there. Make sure that one's good. That one there. That one looks like it goes... Ooh, where does that one go? There? That looks right. There? And one there. And you see how they're all like glowy and stuff? Now watch this. This is going to be cool. I'm going to walk up to this bad boy. And it's going to attune me to the stars. Apparently it does damage but also heals you at the same time. But this, this animation is super cool. I love this. This is so neat to me. And then once it gets done... We'll have some perks that we'll be able to look at and upgrade over time. And the cool thing about these perks is with this one, all we have to do is move. And that upgrades our perks. So, let's see what we've got. Oh, that's so cool. And there we go. We are attuned. So now you'll see a new page in my book here. It says perks and you'll see that the Avorcio one is um, unlocked this one adds mining speed oh I chose the wrong one I must have wanted this one which one is that Vicio maybe Is that the one that I wanted, Vicio? I think that might be the only one that I don't have unlocked. Yeah, so Vicio is actually the one that I wanted, but that's fine. But this still gets me to be able to show you how cool these things are. But what is, what is really cool is, even though I chose the wrong one, which is fine, it's it's not that big of a deal, Um, I am going to change it. But what's cool is I can make this shifting star. It's not too expensive. It takes some stardust and... um. A little bit of illumination powder and some more liquid starlight. Nothing too difficult to get, really. And then you can make this shifting star. And all you have to do is click that. And that will allow you to actually um, align yourself with a different um, constellation. So I'm just going to continue um, trying to find the constellation. It's not out tonight. I already looked through here. Unless I missed something. Which I did miss something. That looks like it right there. I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get it, actually. So it's just three legs. And it looks like... Ooh, what is the top leg? This is kind of tough. Is this the top leg? No. I'm not sure which one's the top leg. Oh, wait, I see. No, I don't see. It's got to be something like that. Let's go back and look at it. So there's... Three legs. One of them's at a hard angle. One of them's almost straight. And one of them's at a light angle. And... Let's see. There's a good distance between both of those. Oh no, it's daytime. It's going away. 
Oh, that sucks. I'll have to catch it tomorrow night. But guys, that's fun. This is where we're going to end this one. I do hope y'all enjoyed. I hope maybe you learned a little something. I am still learning a lot. Um, Very much learning a lot. I've never played with Estral Sorcery. So it's super cool to be trying to learn a little something new here. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see y'all in the next episode. It'll probably be a little bit. Um, because I am going to try and shift my focus over to doing a little bit more on FTB1 with the Ascended Crafters. If you haven't already, go and check that out, by the way. And uh, don't forget, if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, share with your friends. I really would appreciate it. I'm trying to uh, get my channel out there a little bit more. So um, I would really love it if y'all would, you know, show off the channel a little bit. But that's all I got for this one, y'all. Take care.